Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the top five reasons why I don't think people will buy the Subaru WRX. If you guys are new to my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get after it. All right, and these are in no particular order as I talk about my 2022 Subaru WRX. This is the premium trim. I did opt for the sunroof and the Harman Kardon package. As you guys can see, I have some 18 by 8.5 wheels. Um, I also added the Noble uh, spoiler back here. And so definitely makes the car look better but these are in no order and i definitely want to talk about this first one because i think this is the most controversial but i think and, and i would rank this as number one why people won't buy this car the rest of these ones on the list are really in no order but the first reason people will not buy this car is because of the looks people think it looks like a honda civic from behind they hate all the black plastic um, they don't like the side plastic cladding um, People just don't like the looks of it. I would say overall, people really like the looks of the front of the car. They obviously made this a little bit more pronounced, the hood scoop, uh, the front grille. I think it looks really good from the front. When I first saw this car, I hated the looks of it. After owning it, here are my impressions. I actually like the black cladding on the wheel arches down here. The back bumper, I struggle with still. I think with how I have the car set up with the Noble Spoiler. It helps break it up quite a bit. These tail lights are actually pretty sweet. It's kind of like this crushed like crystal or glass looking in it. Online, this car does not look good. Um, in person, it looks a lot better. And this is the main reason people won't buy this car is because of the looks. They hate the looks. They don't like it. There's a lot of companies that can paint match these. I actually gave suggestions in another video of what I think Subaru could do to increase the sales even more. These cars are actually selling, believe it or not. But when it comes to looks, I can't convince you guys one way or the other how it looks. Looks is subjective. It's just like you guys and your significant other. I might think they're ugly. You might think they're beautiful. So can't argue there and I'm not going to talk about it. But that is the first reason why a lot of people won't buy this car and haven't bought this car is because of the looks. However, you see them in person, you see certain modifications, opinions change, but honestly, when it comes to looks, I can't convince you guys something looks good if you guys don't think it looks good. So that is that is probably one of the main reasons people won't buy this car. All right, coming inside now, just because the wind is getting crazy out there, I don't have my uh, mic, my better mic that kind of blocks out wind noise. So I thought I'd be okay, but uh, hopefully it wasn't uh, too bad in the previous clips uh, on the wind. But so yeah looks we definitely talked about that let me know what you guys think below what you guys think of looks uh the second reason why i think certain people won't buy this car is because people are upset at subaru for not releasing the sti when you couple looks in when you couple you know moving away from the ej platform to the fa20 you know which they had in the previous wrx to this one with the fa24 I think people are just upset at Subaru. They they feel cheated. They feel betrayed. They're clutching on to their old STIs that uh, have they've probably changed the head gaskets once or twice or replaced the engine a few times. But a lot of people, and especially the Subaru community, aren't buying this because they feel upset by Subaru. And Subaru, the plans for the the next STI is to electrify it, which that doesn't hit the target market for uh sti enthusiasts so i think a lot of people are just turned off by the brand right now because they messed up on looks they messed up on the sti rollout they they just don't understand the car that brings me to my third point and the third point why people won't buy this car is because they feel like subaru did nothing to change or modify this car and if you guys haven't seen my video on what they changed from the fa20 to the fa24 so looking at a 21 WRX to a 2022 and up WRX, I list every single change that Subaru made. However, there's a lot of people that just, just read what's on a website or just take stuff at face value. Like, oh, they only increased the horsepower, three horsepower. Subaru made no changes, so they made it uglier. They didn't make any modifications to the car. It's only three horsepower different. I'm not buying it. So I think initially people look at numbers you know people like the the horsepower numbers of a demon or other stuff but in all reality to get those cars to hook and that much horsepower to hook and how much tire you have and conditions and everything numbers don't always equate to performance sure you know there's a lot of arguments to be made there but a lot of people just took this car at face value they haven't driven it they don't 
they don't understand the platform and so they immediately just felt like ah subaru didn't adjust this they didn't change it so i'm not going to buy it and i think that's another reason why it's really caused people to uh not buy this car i think another reason and this is this doesn't have to necessarily do with anything with this platform but a lot of reason why i don't think people will buy subaru and why they'll opt for a honda or a toyota or other cars is reliability and reliability people have stories of driving a car 400,000 miles never having an issue and then people have stories of of not and so i think reliability is something that's always going to plague subaru and put them in a bucket where people worry about the longevity and reliability of these cars and i don't have enough miles on mine i still think this platform doesn't have enough miles on it to really determine how how well things hold up but this fa24 engine they have on a lot of other lineups within subaru's lineup and in more instances they're making a lot more power out of those and so i really think subaru is in a much better position and i think they're the way they've been viewed previously of, of lacking reliability is probably a big reason people will steer away from going the Subaru route because they'll kind of, you know, and reliability is so different, right? Like, are you talking about tuning reliability or are you just talking about straight stock reliability? Anytime you tune any car, any platform, you run risks and that's not necessarily Subaru's fault. So I don't really have an opinion one way or the other, but what I will say is, Subaru has had this this car and a lot of other platforms pushing a lot more power and it stood the test of time. Now, any obviously, anytime you have a turbocharger or anything like that, uh, that definitely adds to different factors in there. But overall, my gut reaction or initial reaction is reliability shouldn't steer you away from this car because I think this feels like a, just a much more solid, better performing car than in the previous WRXs I've driven. I think another reason a lot of people won't buy uh, the WRX, and this kind of combines a couple things. But number one, I think Subaru messed up on not including certain options for other trim packages. If you want like the adaptive suspension, if you want Recaro seats, if you want like all the high-end stuff, you have to go to the GT. Okay, fine, I'll pay GT money, but it comes with the Subaru Performance Transmission, which is their S CVT which they've actually done a lot better. So I think Subaru missed the mark and I hope they address this in the refresh because they could sell a lot more. But I think a lot of the goodies that people want in these cars, people could maybe get over the fact, hey, there's not an STI, that's okay. I want the Recaro seats, I want adaptive suspension, I want drive modes, I want different, I want those things. And you can only get that in an automatic. So I think Subaru missed the mark there, in my opinion. And I think they could easily give that to some other trims as added packages as they move forward and I think that would I think that would alter people. Number two, I think another reason people don't uh, buy the WRX is because it's not luxurious enough. And when I say luxurious, you know, you're, you're pretty much are stuck with cloth seats unless you get up to the limited trim. And even when you get up to limited trim, you're pushing, you know, high 30s and uh, that's still a good price point for this car. But Subarus, they've never been known to be like super fancy in terms of tech, in terms of luxury. I will say this feels a lot better than the previous versions. This big screen, this tablet screen, I know when I first saw this, I was like, ugh, I don't like it. I do think the UI UX interface in there, like their apps and stuff could look a lot sexier. I think that it looks dated, uh, but I haven't had any problems with infotainment. A lot of people have, but I think uh, when people get in the WRX, it's too toned down for them on the inside. They just kind of feel like they're driving a cheap car or a mediocre car, but that's kind of always what Subaru's been about. But if you're new into the market and you're considering one of these compared to a Volkswagen uh, and even some other cars, you know, the Honda Civic Si, that doesn't feel as luxurious, it doesn't feel as fancy. And so for some people that might kind of deter them. Now, obviously outside of this list, there's a lot of other factors, economy, interest rates, the market, maybe people are timing, you know, the, the car market to continue to fall well. It's super you can get a great deal on these cars but in my opinion those are kind of the main reasons why i think people won't buy the super wrx if i left some off that maybe you guys think that i've missed please leave a comment below i'd love to get your guys' thoughts let me know if you agree with these points let me know if you disagree with all of them or some of them but as always guys thank you so much for the support on the channel i hope you guys have an awesome day we'll catch you on the next video